For the hydrate labs, we need a hydrated salt. We're going to need a vessel to hold it. So we've got a crucible and a lid. We'll need its mass. Rather than using weighing paper or a weighing tray, where some of the material could get stuck to it, we're going to use the crucible as our container. We're going to add between one and a half and five grams of salt. I'm going to aim for about three grams each time. Occasionally I'll exceed that. And ideally we would do three trials with each. Afterwards, we'll need to go ahead and take our hydrated salt, you can see the salt here, and heat it. We'll heat for about five minutes, and so you'll see that I'm going to speed up the film. As it heats, you can watch condensation around the container move off and heat off because there's water still stuck to the vessel. This would be a source of error. We're going to only heat it three times, but ultimately we should heat it successively until the mass no longer changes. Afterwards, we'll let the vessel come to room temperature, and then we'll go ahead and put it on the scale. You can see that the contents may have changed, some of them quite drastically. Again, once it's cooled, we'll be able to go ahead and get its mass. The hope is that all of the water has left. If you watch the heating, you'll notice that we only left a small gap between the crucible and the lid so that water vapor could escape. The mass loss should be water. We'll go ahead and take it back to our apparatus, to our clay triangle and our ring stand, and go ahead and heat it a second time. Again, we're going to heat it for about five minutes. As it heats, if you notice any color changes, like green flame, blue flame, orange flame, surrounding the crucible, this indicates that we may have actually gone ahead and excited some of the salt to a point that it has escaped. It's on the outside of the container for that light to be there. This indicates that additional mass may be lost that isn't water. Again, allow the vessel to cool, then go ahead and get its mass. Again, we heated it for about five minutes. The hope is that successive weighings will show that the mass has not changed, meaning that no more water has escaped, and all of the water that was in it has left. If the mass is starting to go up, a few things might be going on. Perhaps the salt is absorbing water and we just didn't heat it as thoroughly. Or perhaps an additional reaction is taking place because of contaminants 
or perhaps a decomposition reaction of some sort is occurring because of the heat. Some of the salts may produce things like hydrochloric acid. When we heat it the third time, we're only going to heat for about two minutes. Again, we'll allow it to cool, and then we'll go ahead and get the mass. Because of time, this will be our final measurement, even if a fourth successive weighing would be warranted. Good luck entering the data into your lab report and follow your instructor's instructions.